Gisborne, competitors for the 1946 Singer Shield dive into the drink fully clad. In this unusual contest, you've got to keep your clothes on, and the test is for endurance instead of speed. This contest has a novel origin. A Gisborne lad dive-bombed off Crete successfully stayed afloat for 24 hours. That remarkable achievement prompted his father, Dr. Singer, to present a shield to encourage endurance swimming. Other lives may be saved if people learn how to keep afloat when fully clad. This year's winner is Dee Turnbull, who receives the shield from Dr. Singer. In the first match of their continental tour, the Kiwis defeat France 14 to 9 in a spectacular game at Cologne Stadium, Paris. And here's the Kiwis' first try. Smith has run Sherrod into position, and Sherrod kicks through and races on to beat two men to the touchdown. But the Kiwis didn't have things all their own way. The Frenchman too played sparkling football. And here's the way Sherrod scored his second try. He crashes through two men to score in the corner. Scott converts with a splendid kick from almost on the touchline. Half time found the Kiwis winning 8-3. But in the second spell, France with only 14 men brought off two brilliant tries to go into the lead. Here's where the Kiwis recaptured the lead. It's Blake dribbling through to score. Later Scott kicked a penalty, clinching the game at 14-9. Tyree Aerodrome is the starting point for Lord and Lady Louis Mountbatten's South Island tour. Here they are met by the Mayor of Dunedin and Mrs Cameron and get lined up for the inevitable press photo. Flags are flying today at Monticello, Dunedin's Red Cross home for returned servicemen, for a visit from the Superintendent and Chief of the Nursing Division of the St John Ambulance Brigade is an outstanding event. In her hour and a half's visit to Monticello, Lady Louie met everybody. She quickly made herself at home and chatted to the boys like an old friend. For all the patients, this is a great day. The South Island has enjoyed meeting Lady Louis Mountbatten. A bunch of Kiwis from the advance party of J-Force are giving Cory Docks the once-over, getting in early on the job of seeing Japan before the rest of the boys arrive. Kuri, once one of the best equipped naval bases in the world, is today a big piece of history. Here are ships in the smallest dock being repaired and cleaned. Among the sights are these 1,000 ton subs that Japan just didn't get around to finishing. Gathering inside information on these subs proves they were built for nimble nips and not bulky kiwis. Kuri and on to Kyoto leads us past a dock repair contract in full swing, Jap style. And here's Kyoto, a city that wasn't badly bombed. Holding a broken live wire out of the way of the trams keeps this citizen busy. A Shinto temple in Kyoto is on the itinerary, with the usual small boy around. And here's a fellow who looks as if he's just stepped out of Gilbert and Sullivan's Mikado. So we step back with him to see where he came from. We might have guessed it. A film studio, but not one of the biggest in what is a thriving industry here. To change the picture, these Japanese are looking over a couple of emaciated New Zealanders in the Kyoto Zoo. They're labelled sheep, Corridale, New Zealand. Right now, they'd sooner be nosing round a tussock. Near Kyoto is Lake Biwa, and across the lake is the Hotel Biwaka, once a tourist hotel, now a leave centre for officers. Half an hour from Kuri is one place the J-Force boys will be off to see, Hiroshima. Here they'll see just how the atomic bomb worked out. Back at Kuri again, and there are still ships going and coming. This one, recently repaired and disarmed, is off to bring home Japanese from China. 
Some Faroes are still here, now looking over these one-man submarines lying among the scrap dumped in the dock. These were the suicide craft. A welcome sight, the SS Macaw in from Australia with 600 tonnes of fresh food, the first to arrive for the British occupation force. Cold stores are waiting to receive the food and there's plenty of room with good cold storage. So with good food coming in, good quarters to live in and plenty of places to go to, here at Kuri Docks is where the boys of J-Force will start seeing Japan. And as these boys have found, Japan's worth seeing. <laughs>